Christmas cards. And these ones are encaustic art using rubber stamps and clear polymer stamps. Quite quick to do, lots of fun. Stamps are easy to use. And you start by selecting an ink pad. It has to be a die pad. The problem with the lidded ones is that sometimes the edges interfere with contact of the stamp, whereas the raised die pads always allow really good contact between the pad and the stamp itself. So ink your stamp, get it nice and wet, and then carefully position it, press it firmly, lift it off, and if you want to use it straight away, just quickly pop a piece of tissue on top and iron over it. That takes the excess ink away, and it's ready to use. Be careful that you ink the stamps properly, otherwise you get blotches like that, and it should look like this. Also, the outer edges, if you press too hard, can contact and leave an impression themselves. Not like that, it should look like this. A quick way is to stamp a few cards and let them dry before you start. Colours, clear, yellow, yellow, brown and blue, these are what we're starting with. And the key thing is to remember to use clear wax in the area that's going to go over the stamped image. This has the effect of weakening the colour in that part. So as this yellow is applied, not too much, it's going to be weaker where the clear wax is, watered down, and then the darker colours aren't going to go over the stamp anyway. The wax doesn't damage the stamp in any way. You can see underneath the ink is perfect. So pass the iron across gently until you get a nice background. Give our nativity scene somewhere to stand and that's the first one done. Same basic colours, same basic idea, same stamp, same process. Passing the iron across until you get a nice background effect and this time lifting and pressing to avoid the edge marks from the iron. Now using that front part of the iron to create a border of containment. And the back square edge to put on a bottom border. All quite quick and easy to do. Let's look again. Pushing across, creating a nice area of light clean the edge of the iron because this time we're going to make rays just touching that edge down simple as can be the thing is if you're making Christmas cards you might be making quite a few and you don't want to spend too long on each one so these processes are quite fast this time just dabbing with the iron to create somewhere for the nativity scene to stand and then adding in some borders another one done changing the direction of the light so that it's coming from above and then using that square back edge to add our containment. A little cavern in which the nativity scene can stand, light coming down. To soften the block, rub it on a piece of paper and then you can crayon that and it'll take in all the areas that are white. So it'll bring that yellow color out into the borders in those white areas, reflecting the light. You can still work into it at any time, remember. So gently heating an edge, take a tissue whilst it's still warm, wipe it. And then you can apply your fresh, clean color. It's the only way to get clean color back in. You can use the stylus, Stylus Pro, to put in lines, to put in spots, to add decoration, to make it a bit more festive. Changing colours then to pinks and blues for our Santa sleigh. Keep it very simple and then adding a little bit more darker colour below the sleigh area so that Santa's flying over the mountains. Very quick and easy. Similar colours, but a bit of darkness now, a bit of black added. You can see the stamp still unaffected by that. 
And each time you work over, you're looking for a nice light. Sometimes you get too much, sometimes slowing down helps. And now using the front edge of the iron to drag across to make the peaky mountains, smoothing along with the point underneath, and dragging wax off to allow the whiteness before putting in some stars with the stylus. It's a simple design, but very effective. Similar thing, blues, blacks, pinky reds. Working along to find that nice light, and if the card grabs to the iron, just go over it gently again, it'll be fine. And now putting in some rooftops. So in effect, these are just upside down V shapes. And these long lines are going to become chimneys. Then put in the bodies of the houses, just smoothing with that edge of the iron, not down, but just on edge. Not flat, but on edge. And then taking the stylus and adding in a little bit of silver smoke. Very seasonal and quite festive. A few windows to show that we're at home. And it's another simple idea. A little bit of decoration and it's finished. Wise men, dark blues and yellow brown, smoothing across to create a darkish sky, just cleaning that edge off so that when we go across it stays nice and clean. And remember the camels need something to stand on, you can't have floating camels. And then just pressing down, bashing down with the end of the scribing tool to create the small stars and then scribing off lines and rays to create a more prominent one. Highlighting where the stamp silhouette had got a little bit lost, rub it in and it just picks it up. Now we're using a rubber and a polymer stamp. Same sort of thing but a little bit of yellow brightening it up now because the star's in the sky. Just running the tip of the iron through remembering to give the camel somewhere to stand and cleaning off that edge, just scraping the wax off so that you've got a clean area to apply clean, fresh colour. It's the only way to get that back in. And then sawing backwards and forwards, rotating a bit like the rays of the sun or rays of light coming down from that star. And the key thing is to remember to use clear wax in the area that's going to go over the stamped image. This has the effect of weakening the colour in that part. Now a couple of rubber stamps, the wise men and some palms. A nice colourful background this time. Sort of sunset in the desert. Sometimes too much colour comes off as you go across, so just put some more on. And the value of the dark at the top and the bottom is that it helps contain the light. It gives a stronger sort of a feeling. Lots of little bumps and tying in the bottom of the palm trees there, remembering to give the camel somewhere to stand. The light is on that side and we're looking ahead. So by putting a border on this back edge, it helps to block the eye and that light and direct our attention further forward. Increase the power of that with a dark line. The edge of the iron run down and then back up again just to make it equal. A little bit of decoration. And there we've got it. Moving forward. One of the things about polymer stamps is you can change the shape when they're skinny like the trunk of this palm tree. So the same stamp can create several designs. Colours go on. Don't worry about the first pass because it always looks a bit dark. Just work until you get nice light, like this, and then you can work into it. Push some dark colour up. Again, just wobbling along behind, but in fact straight across the stamps. Put some fresh wax on the iron and dab that into the foreground to create our desert scene. 
Now the black silhouette stumps don't have to stay black. You can hide them or colour them using the stylus to go over them. In this way, you can hide the fact that you've used stamps at all and you can change the nature, change the look of the stamps, highlighting them and making them whatever you want them to be. Here a little bit of gold to give a tunic to one of the wise men. The polymer clear stamps, this is a Santa, all work the same. They just stick onto the acrylic base get them nicely inked. Remember we're using that die pad. Firm pressure, you can see exactly where you're putting it and that's quite useful when you're lining things up or making patterns especially. Tissue for a quick, oops, sometimes wax comes out but don't worry just put fresh wax on the iron and go over it and it's not a problem at all. I'm working right across the stamps with the iron, dragging this colour off to make the mountains behind. And the stamps are unaffected. The black of the stamp absorbs light, and that's why you don't see the colour on top of the stamps very well. A little bit of dabbing. And then again, colouring in over our Santa. Just adding a little bit more embellishment, making it a bit more festive, a bit brighter. Tapping down with the end of the scribing tool again to create some simple stars, and there we have it. This one is the two reindeer. Darkish colours with a little bit of green and brown. But basically, it's about a nice mood. That looks like a nice light. And these deer don't have to be standing on the snow, they can be standing in it. So taking colour away to amplify the idea of snow and then melt a little bit of white and spray it off with a brush to spatter it and make snow. Put a little frosty border on the edge and it's done. So Christmas cards can be fun to make, to share with your friends and family, and they can be actually quite quick to do.